गजब लड़का था वो इस तरह के बच्चों को हम याद करते हैं वी फील प्रिवलेज टू गेट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू सर्व सच चिल्ड्रेन ऐसा ही कुछ है हमारा इस बार का टॉपर कैन वी हैव अ बिग राउंड ऑफ एप्लॉज फॉर दी गोल्डन बॉय अनिरुद्ध सराफ so i have had the privilege of interviewing him few days back but still before uh, you listen from anirudh just sharing few of his achievements so 127 rank in kvpy and 11th standard and uh, olympiads his performance was the best amazing he cleared the nscp exam the first round of physics olympiad he cleared nsec as well as inchho both the first and second round of the chemistry olympiad in j main his all india rank was 150 and round figure mein rank lata hai hamesha aur j advanced he cracked it with an all india rank of 110 and i think his most amazing performance came in the bitset exam wherein he got 391 marks out of 390 yeah now what is the mystery of that one extra mark i will not explain for that you probably watch that video uh, it's available on the bt's youtube channel for now let's cheer up for our topper anirudh thank you so much sir for that wonderful introduction respected teachers parents and fellow students Firstly I would like to express my sincere gratitude to all of you for joining me here today to celebrate our success. I joined BT in the 11th grade and over the course of these 2 years I have undergone a complete transformation. I have evolved from being an irresponsible 10th grader to a J success. It has it, the journey has been incredible over the 2 years. It has been filled with ups and downs. and i would like to extend my deepest gratitude to the people who made this happen these accomplishments are not solely a result of my own hard work but also the sacrifices and unwavering support of my loved ones i wouldn't be standing here today without the guidance and encouragement of my family teachers and friends a very special thank you to my aunt and uncle for staying for standing as my parents away from home and for always prioritizing my studies I I would like to talk about a bit a bit about my journey. Uh I arrived from Singapore in the 9th grade and my goal I had a modest goal of pursuing engineering in a in a reputable college in India. So I think my I have superseded those expectations by a considerable amount. My journey with BT started in the 11th grade and all my subject teachers constantly drove me to better myself. every day and along with competitive friends we kept raising the bar higher to remain at the top was our highest priority and our consistent goal throughout the two year journey during this journey daily study planners and keeping backlog clean and and all honest consistency have helped me achieve my goals i made sure to align my self study with the ongoing chapters and classes trusting that the syllabus would be appropriately covered at bt regular mock test help us t- consistently test the waters gauge our performance and give us a real time analysis of how we were performing against our peers and for the c24 and c25 here are a few pieces of advice first and foremost be consistent in whatever you choose to do wake up at a fixed time create a schedule and stick to it it requires a great deal of mental determination to keep moving forward and avoid distractions but the journey you embark on demands such sacrifices as long as you persevere stay committed and remain on the right path day in and day out success will follow you secondly avoid backlog like a disease it can have a detrimental impact on your understanding of current chapters leading to a snowball effect that is incredibly challenging to refer from stay on track with the institute trust their expertise and complete chapters along with them and thirdly when it comes to selecting books 
Don't simply pick up extra ones because you see your peers using them. Choose your books wisely and ensure that you complete them thoroughly. The BT module and a few essential books are more than sufficient if studied diligently. With the above message, I'd like to wrap up my speech here today. Once again, my heartfelt gratitude to the teachers and BT for being instrumental to my success. Thank you. Thank you for, good evening everyone. Uh, thank you for having us here. It's a, quite a proud moment to be standing here uh, next to Anirul, right? Um, I mean, this three hours has been a completely emotional journey for us. We've been seeing kids from all walks of life, uh, their, their journey, their, and, and their struggle to come up to this uh, level and then and, and beat this daunting examination, right? Um, this is this is phenomenal. What I see around me, this energetic, uh, aspiring engineering student, this all become a future uh, for the India, right? So um, I'm, I'm extremely glad uh, to be here and proud father today. Um, uh, no no words can explain my feelings today. I'm so so spellbound today, um, and and thank you so much. Uh, thanks to all the uh, Mr. Webby, Buckley, one sir, uh, all the teachers, uh, all the admin staff. Um, the, the support, the phenomenal, the backbone of the the institute. I've see, seen Ani transforming. Sorry about that. I've seen Ani transforming, uh, like he said in his speech, from a, just like another student, just hardworking student, from there to a successful student all just because of the, the kind of teachers that drove uh, Ani. I mean, actually extracting the, the gold of the gold out of the gold ore is the job of the teachers. And that's exactly what the teachers did here, right? And I really also like to mention, uh, which is not mentioned before, is this two years hard work in a study uh, that goes in this, uh, in a grueling exam, is just one thing of it. These ranks you see behind is just one thing of it. Of course, this is important for a JE aspirant that takes them to those colleges they are dreaming about. Um, what is more important to me is that value that institute will instill in these people, right? That I think will take them further beyond these ranks, basically, right? When they go into these colleges, I think this is where probably the life journey would begin where they will face the problem front end. Um, and for beyond the college, the college the companies, or wherever they go, they have to deal with the problems every single day. Now that this value will come handy, uh, what they learn in these two years, how to overcome these problems, how to get over with them, and keep, keep winning, keep succeeding in the life, is a very important aspect. And I don't know, and I don't think, that all institute are capable of instilling this this uh, value into the students. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. But this is something I feel is unique that I my I see Anirudh uh, every day studying and going through that grill, and then he's every day is a new person. He says, "I want to get over with that last uh, drawback, or I didn't score well in the last exam." or I, 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 I miss this thing or that thing, right? He want to get over with that problem. He take careful note of the problem. I have not seen this in anybody, right? I believe this comes from the institute and the teacher who mentors and the guides from. So a really big uh, round of applause for the teachers. Once again, you have done this for me, but once again, it's phenomenal. It's a phenomenal, right? And um, I'm, I'm, I'm really proud to be standing here Thank you so much for everything that BT has done. That's all. Hello all, good evening. I feel very privileged to stand here and speak in front of you. My son has become a big boy now. Please, I would like to say congratulations to all 2023 batch. Can we have a round of applause for all of them? They have really worked very hard. Whatever rank they have got, but I feel that they have done their best. So please applaud all of them and all
also the teachers who have worked day and night for them, solving their doubts anytime they call them, they are always available for them. All the best to juniors. Please study hard, and next year is for you to stand here. All the